Hello guys, welcome to Desire School channel. As you see, we have two renders with different quality from same 3D model of a church designed by famous architect Richard Mayer. One of these renders was done by a professional Lumion user and the other one was done by someone who has just started working with Lumion. Let's see what is the difference between methods of these two people and what is the reason for this difference in a render results. Okay, it's time to jump on the screen. The first thing both users start was applying materials. The difference between the methods here was that the professional user tried more materials and changed and optimized the settings of each material, such as reflection, glossiness, and weathering. Lumion has many materials, some of which have high quality textures and some do not. It's very important to choose high quality materials and then optimize its various settings such as glossiness, reflection, and control the amount of bumps and give some weathering effect to the materials to make it look more natural. Don't forget that the high quality Don't forget that high quality materials are essential for realistic render. The pro users save a few camera scene before placing objects, which allow him to place the objects in a better location in each scene. As a result, render frames had better preparation and composition. So it's important to place objects where each render frame is well composed. The professional user also used mass placement tools when placing objects in order to save more time. When it comes time to apply effects, the main difference between the professional and amateur user methods becomes clear. 
The amateur user uses only one of Lumion ready-made presets, but the professional user apply different effects and optimize the settings of each effect according to the scene. The most important effects used by professional user. Number one, the sky and sun. Two, reflection. Three, color correction. Four, a skylight. Five, shadow. Six, two point perspective. Another important point we learned from professional user was that. While applying the effects, he was still modifying and optimizing the materials. And to create the right light and shadow in render, he changed some of the effects such as skylight, real sky, color correction and shadow several times to find which settings work best. As a result, the professional user spent more time working on the render. So don't be afraid to spend lots of time on renders. If you want to learn more tips about Lumion, please leave a comment. Thank you so much. Stay safe.